Now what I'm going to do is connect a pivot table directly to a database. Now I want to warn everybody now this is a fairly advanced topic so if you have any questions or need any help give us an email at support at reportingguru.com so here we have Excel so what you need to do first is create a connection an ODBC connection from your computer to the database so what I'm going to do here is just go into my control panel and if I go to administrative tools ODBC and let's go to our file DSN here and see I have an AdventureWorks DSN a data source name um, in which it connects um, directly to my AdventureWorks database. Now AdventureWorks is a sample database that you can download for free from Microsoft.com. It's and the type of database what it is is it's a manufacturing company or or whether they manufacture it or import it, it's a product company, a distributor that um, essentially has a bunch of products or inventory that they sell to different stores that are in different demographics and then these stores resell the product to different clients who come into the store. So all right, so but back to our ODBC connection here um, for AdventureWorks. If I click configure and you, if you want to add a new one, you would just click add. So I'm gonna click configure and show you um, um, how you know the different properties of the connection. So the server would be your server. Um, in this case, it's my server, which is a Brown, is my server name. And then you can choose your authentication, whether it's NT or SQL Server authentication um, and so that means that's just how you would connect to the actual database and then you would choose your your database if you want to choose a default database in this case it's AdventureWorks and then finally um, you really don't need to change any information on this dialog screen uh, we're going to do a test uh, everything's correct click OK OK and we have an AdventureWorks data source name that's connected to our database. So let's click OK here. And now, if we go back to essentially all we need is a, a blank worksheet here. And now we're going to insert a new pivot table. So click our Insert tab here. And we're going to go to Pivot Table and choose Pivot Table. And now instead of a table range, we're going to choose an external data source. And from here, we're going to choose a connection. Now, this is a connection that I just showed you, that, that DSN, that data source name um, that you used in your ODBC um, connection properties. And here, we are going to choose AdventureWorks. And now, you get to come in here and select a particular table. So, what we're going to do is, we're just going to select our sales order. Expand this and uh, come on down. So there's a bunch of system tables in here and whatnot. So um, we can go on down to our cells, our uh, our. Okay, here's our sales order header. So we're going to go ahead and just choose our sales order header table here, and let's click OK and boom that basically connected directly to the sales order header table so there's a bunch of information here now that we could drag directly into our pivot table we wanted our account um, in our row area and then maybe uh, the uh, let's say the subtotal in our values area. So something so by account now we have our a subtotaled amount. Now 
obviously see see a bunch of IDs in here so we probably want to bring in more tables so that's where we would go in here and edit our um, connection properties so I'm going to go to um, my connection properties here and if I go to the definition here notice how this is essentially a query that's querying the database I can come in here and edit this query and I can I could write my SQL which is the language to query the database directly within my command text box here or I can come in here and click edit query and what this brings up is a little wizard for me to add tables so um, let's see we already had cells order so what I want to do is uh, let's see let's add sales order detail and then let's add so what else do we want to add? I want to add store because I want to know okay what sales orders what stores are, are actually buying um, what what are these sales orders going to? What's what particular store? All right. So rather than return the data to Microsoft Excel, I'm actually going to view it in Microsoft Query. And now I have. And let me uh, resize this so let's make sure you can see this. Now, the, what Microsoft Query is, it's a it's an add-on to Excel so that you can add queries to your pivot tables and essentially embed queries within your pivot table. So, like I said, this is a, a fairly advanced topic. So, um, what we're doing is is we're actually putting SQL into a pivot table and in the future um, what we're going to do is we're going to have some lessons on and some courses on actually writing SQL to get the reports you need so um, with this editor I'm just going to kind of show you some basics where we have a sales order detail table sales order header table and a store table and you join these tables on um, IDs with, that are common between them. So our sales order ID is joined to sales order ID um, between our sales order detail table and our sales order header table. And then our customer ID, which actually is the store that's purchasing or that the sales order is going to, is joined on our customer ID from sales order header to our customer ID on store. So this is kind of like a, a graphical interface. If we were to click on SQL here, we could actually see um, the actual SQL syntax that would be generated. And uh, when you get good at writing SQL, this is what um, eventually you'll be able to write um, on your own without using this graphical interface. So now what we're going to do is return the data to Excel by clicking on File, Return Data to Microsoft Excel. And here's our query that I just showed you, all embedded here now within the um, properties within the pivot table. I'm going to click OK. Um, it's asking me if I want to proceed, yes. And there we go. So now everything has been returned to our pivot table. So now we can maybe, um, now we can get more detail on all um, the information we want to see. So I, um, rather than just seeing the uh, actual customer here I actually want to see a name so I'm gonna bring in my customer to my row area so this is my actual customer I'm gonna take out my account and um, let's go ahead and change this to a classic view so we can rather than a compact view so I'm gonna to go to pivot table options and I'm gonna to go to display and I'm gonna choose classic view 
Awakened Dragon drops off right in the pivot table itself. So we have our customer and we have our subtotal uh, by customer name. So notice how that took a few tables joining together to be able to get that information. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and hit a field value on here. And we're going to format this as currency. Okay, okay. Great. All right, so essentially what I got here is the amount of sales by customer. And this is all going directly against the database. So now as the database changes, all I have to do is come in here and right click and choose refresh. And now my pivot table goes out, hits the database, brings it out of all the information, uses that query that we built, brings it all back into the pivot table. So that's a very, very, very useful feature. Um, to be able to sit here and report directly on the database and bring that back into the pivot table.